All right, guys. Again, this is versus kicks for our new video. Okay, so this is my very latest cup, and this is what you call the Leaning Yushu Y17. So this is a part of the Yushu Y um, line, which mostly are high cuts. Again, this uh, shoes is from Leaning. So, uh, just to want to share you about the box. The box is actually, it looks like cheap. I think this is the cheapest um, like box that Leaning has produced. Uh, their their CD 11 Sway Away box are much better. Uh, but of course, it's coming from China and it's a direct shipping. And look at the the box. It's just like damaged in all, all corners. Anyway, so go back in. Um, in the Yushuai 17, I'll be the first one who will review these actual basketball sneakers. Um, you know, as far as you know, uh, or some of you guys who watched my previous video, um, now I play mostly on my lows, uh, low top shoes. I think the highest that I have in my collection, I think, are just the high mids, which are um, uh, the hardens are mid cuts. The fresh foam BBs are, are mid cut, so I don't really have um, a high high top basketball sneakers uh, right now, except for this uh, uh, my uh, one of my favorite high tops. This is your um, your Hyperdunk 2014s. Uh, this is the Kia version. Uh, I I've used this when I was like I think was playing about eight nine years ago i've been using this since 2014 when it when it was released until like uh 2016 2017 i love i love these high top shoes um i have like the spain colorway i have the one of the Kyrie uh, pe's of this before he signed with the Kyrie line um and yeah uh, uh i i i actually wanted to um uh compare this to the the Yushuai. uh from the title i have is the Yushuai 17s highs uh are the new hyper dunks which is yes okay the Yushuai 17 highs are actually the new hyper dunks but but i can say this is hyper dunks with steroids uh mainly because going to the shoe um let's go first with the midsole right here this is a boom premium midsole the same as what you get from the wow tens you know that midsole that covers this like kind of like plastic material it's almost the same as the the wow tens and the all ct 11 so all of them are like the same this has actually an exposed boom uh, cushion right here on the back part and the heel counter here uh, this is a boom fiber too which I think this, these are the new boom fibers, uh, what you can see on the 808s, uh, 3 Ultras. Uh, kind of like the same, very, very uh, mesh material for breathability. Uh, the inner part is actually, uh, this this upper right here is kind of thick. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, it, it needs uh, more breaking time for me, I think. Um, the outsole is fantastic. What I notice when I start wearing it and walking it around the house, it has a very, very comfortable step in comfort and a good mid uh, mid shank plate. As you can see, it is like kind of hard. Uh, heel to toe transition is actually nice. Uh, yeah, uh, you see that. Uh, I know some of you guys complain about uh, leaning shoes are kind of like bottom heavy, which is not actually true some maybe yes i can say ac11 a little bit but i like playing with the ac11 uh this one is actually not um these are perfect not bottom heavy even though you have this lateral heel counter here which is kind of like exposed a uh, boom uh i just want to point out the strengths of this shoe again leaning started to use um I don't know if you can see guys let's go ahead and see you see this uh, pillow right here these are like achilles pillows really comfortable both lateral and back 
So this is uh, the advantage. I just don't like how stiff this uh, side, uh, lateral side part of the upper here. The tongue is kind of leathery. It goes all the way up. But you know, it has a low um, back part where it's actually a nice uh, complement of the shoe. If you're gonna compare it with the uh, Hyperdunks, Hyperdunks is about the same uh, heel part there. It contains your foot. It creates a good lockdown. When you tie the laces, it's lower than the lockdown of the Hyperdunks. Um, uh, yeah, and I think this will be a very, very uh, stable shoe that will be available in in uh, the market, especially with leaning. Um, uh, they started producing a lot of high tops uh, right now, which is a really good performer. I'll be waiting for my, the new Lyrens, which are the high tops. By the way, these shoes, uh, they came with a, a low tops too, which I don't really like. I like this version and colorway with the complements of purple, light blue, and black with the boom exposed uh, out, uh, midsole. These are very squeaky shoes. Again, the strength of these shoes, again, is the support, containment, step in comfort, um, you know, the boom, premium boom, outsole, midsole is really comfortable. This is kind of good for wide footer. So for me, I, this is a size 10 and a half. I usually go, uh, um, you know, like uh, my two to size with leaning. Uh, doesn't matter. I, I wear uh, my game day insoles. If I don't, then... If the, the shoes are tight, then I don't wear the insoles with it. Uh, it comes with a very um, very light uh, or very thin um, uh, insole, so it works for me. Uh, if you can see from the Hyperdunks, they, are, they have a wide foot toe box than the Hyperdunks. This is more on the narrow side, but actually this is actually forgiving for those who are Nike lovers. They are actually... Um, a wider uh, you see this outrigger part here so this is really wider uh, okay so i'll be using this for the next few weeks let's see how it works let's see how it performs uh, again uh, this is the new ushuai 17 high top uh, i'll update you guys uh, follow me in my tiktok versus kicks sometimes i do my updates there uh, again, like and subscribe um, this video versus kicks. I'll be always updating you with new drops. Um, you know, when I start playing with the boom cushion, I don't think some big brands can actually compete with it. Except for some, you know, like the Tatum ones. They're really comfortable. Uh, Alright, so drop your comment, guys. Uh, like and share if you want. And see you on my next uh, video. Thank you so much. Versus kicks.